Just drive.
I don't want to stay that way. Come with me. Karina's gone. What do you mean she's gone? Is she dead? No, 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 no. At least... Uh, at least I don't think so. What, what, what do you mean you don't think so? She left this. When I found it, she was long gone. I tried calling her at least ten times, and I got nothing. And that's why I called you. Jesus. Who oh, the fuck? What am I gonna do? Look, it says goodbye, so maybe she just kind of meant goodbye as in... As in what, Jason? As in she ran away, goodbye? Or as in she killed herself, goodbye? Or is somewhere between those two extremely negative outcomes? Good fucking bye? So we're going to get this sandwich from the road all day? I think we should wait for everyone, no? Uh, any whereabouts on Tom and Jen? Thomas is our great boss. I, I think it'd be better if we started off without him. No, Mr. Collins will wait for everybody, and Jenny isn't going to make it to the meeting today. She has a family emergency. No, Tom is definitely here. Okay, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know where he is. I'm so sorry, Mike. There was a, a problem with the crash. Did I miss something? No, thank you. That's not happens. We were waiting on you. Again. Okay, okay, that's enough. Alright, let's get started. So, we're not meeting all of our targets, the way that we want to be at least. Um, it's not a massive problem, I think it's just a matter of picking up a bit of pace here and there, it should be alright, alright? Now, each of you represent five of the six departments. I'll have to speak to Jenny separately. Um, you're going to have to relay the information back to your respective teams on your own time. Is that understood? Yes. Perfect, okay. So, Division 2 and 3 are quite steady, everything seems to be going quite strongly. Division 4 is just shy of its targets, so James, I'd say you're going to have to pick up pace a bit there, but it's not a major problem, alright, so just keep on track. Division 1, you're lower than you usually are, but still just shy of the targets. I'd say introduce a few new units, maybe higher work ethic among your staff should be alright, what do you think? Um. I think we should be grand. We had plans to some number, but seeing we are going into a busy season, should all work out. Perfect. Now, Division 5. Thomas, I don't know what to tell you. It's really low. Yeah, I've been aware of that for about a few years here, but I, I'm working with Jason to try to clean that up. Okay. Be sure that you do, because we are heading into a busier season, and I'm afraid these low numbers just won't do, alright? Perfect. Okay, I think that clears up most of the things that I wanted to talk about. Um, 
Are there any questions for anyone? Yes. Um, I was actually wondering about Excelsior. Is that something we're still going ahead with, or? It depends on the next quarter's numbers, are right? So we'll, we'll base it on the figures. So when we see the stats coming in for the next quarter, we'll do another meeting and we'll see how things are looking and how it's fixed. And if we're good financially, we can move along the project Excelsior. If not, we'll have to push it on the back burner for another little while. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So um, I think that pretty much clears up everything I want to talk about. Uh, you can all head, but if uh, Thomas, could you stay back with me for a few minutes? Is that all right? Thank you very much. So, Tom, check some coffee. Will I be here long enough to have one? That depends. On what? On how much we have to talk about. Sir, I... Stop trying to give me initial excuses. I'm not Sir right now, I'm Steve. I'm not your boss, I'm your friend. Thomas, talk to me. Looks like he's off with that coffee. So, where were we? Mm. You were wondering why I've been a shit employee recently? I was wondering where your work ethic has dropped so dramatically. I mean, when you came in here, transitioning work experience, you were so driven, and that drive and ambition earned you the role of division leader. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. It's a long time ago. You were only 15 years old. Six years? Mm-hmm. I think it's only a lifetime. No, from the minute you walked in those doors, I knew you had leadership in your core. But you were the right man for this job. Where's this going? How long will it happen? Well, Steve, I think the best way to put it is that I've just been stuck. You've been stuck? How so? You remember my partner, Karina, don't you? When you were a little girl? Yeah, of course. I've always tried to keep my work and my private life separate, but three months ago, Karina left. She said, Tom, I'm sorry, I had no idea. She left, and probably did her the money with her. Now I have to stay around and pay the bills, and I don't even think I can be left. Steve should have talked to me. I didn't want to burden you with this. Look, three months isn't a long time. social worker at the moment. If I'm unable to pay bills, then I don't think I'm going to be able to see her again. Thomas, you should have spoken to me about this. Listen, I didn't want your help. You need it. You need my help. Look, I didn't want to burden you with this. I'll be fine, okay? So maybe in a bit of a rut right now, but look, I can get this handled. I don't need any help. Trust me. Yes, you do. I mean, Thomas, we can work on this, okay? We, we can fix this from a professional standpoint and from a business standpoint. Okay, I don't mind you being late. I don't mind the low numbers. Now, at the end of the day, it is a business that I'm running, but that can be fixed. Together, we can work together. You could appoint somebody to be a, a division assistant. They would have the same wages as you, do the same job as you, but they work under you and your guidance, and we could step towards making this better. Thomas, please, let me help you. Take the day off, okay? Head home, get some rest, start making dinner for two, okay? What do you want? From you and me, all right? I'm coming over tonight for dinner, and we can hash this out and discuss it, and we can start making tracks to fix this together. What do you say? Okay. Good.
Thanks for the company, by the way. Of course. I'll see you this evening. Okay. Addiction has been in my family as long as I can remember. My mother was an addict. She overdosed when I was 13. And I just followed in her footsteps, I guess. I was drinking every day, taking every drug you can think of. I was a mess. But then I met someone, and we were happy. I was happy. Everything seemed like it was going back to normal. Then we had a son, and I thought we could handle it, but she obviously didn't because she left. And that's where it all just went downhill again. I was drinking every morning, every evening. But I'm better now, and I don't think it'll be long till I'm out of here, and I can finally see my son again. Thank you, Sam. That's very brave. Karina, would you like to share? In the past. So I think that covers everything for today. How do we all feel? A little bit lighter, perhaps? Um, I'd like to thank you for sharing and all your guys for your attention. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Karina, how can I help you? Do, do you have a moment to talk? Yes, of course. What's on your mind? Well, I haven't been here very long. I'm here by sheer chance, actually. How do you mean? Uh, do you have a moment to sit? Yes, so of course. So, I have a child, Leah. She's three. I have a wife, 18, she, she's my whole world, and I do love her, but sometimes I feel like, I, I just, I feel like... You don't. Is that awful? No, that's called being human. Postnatal depression is more common than you think. One in seven mothers have experienced it. I don't know. I, I just feel like I... I it makes me a bad mother. You know, Leah deserves a great life. I don't feel like I'm able to give that to her. Well, you are truly the only one who can determine that. And if you come to the conclusion that you're not able to give her that life, the only person that can change that is you. How can I change her? Well, Karina, love is a choice. And not one you make once, but a choice you make every day of your life. Why do you feel like you can't give Leah that life? Because I have too much baggage. Too many problems. Okay, let's explore that. Why are you here? Here, as in, in this room. As in the rehabilitation center? Because I have a problem. What kind of problem? A, a problem. Forgive me, but how is this relevant? Just humour me for a moment. You haven't shared yet, have you? No, I haven't. Have you said the words yet? Well, why don't you try with me? I'll say the words first, so you know how to do it and feel comfortable. My name's Mark Bradstone, and I'm an alcoholic. I'm seven years sober, and I try every day to be better. Now you. I don't feel like I'm able to be a mother because I 
have a problem. What problem are you referring to? I am an alcoholic. That's it. It's okay. You've done it. You said it. That's one of the hardest steps to get through, and, and you did it. Everything is going to be okay. I just left her. I, I didn't even say, I didn't even say goodbye. I mean, properly. Oh God. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I really am. Look at me. There's no need to apologize for expressing what you've gone through. Would you like me to book you in for a proper appointment? Yes, that, that would be perfect. Uh, are you sure? Of course. That's my job after all. There we go. Now, Karina, everything will be okay. If not forever, at least until tomorrow. Thank, thank you, Mark. Karina. I'd like to peel off, wait around. I'll just be outside. I'll let you out. Have you seen Leah? Oh uh, yeah, she just came back actually. Oh, who is she? Oh, Jesus, she's she's really confused. She mentioned Karina. Oh, she's been wondering why she hasn't been coming back to see her recently. Do you think she's taking the role? Oh, it's just getting worse the longer it goes on. Look, Leah's not stupid. She knows that something's up, but... I just can't bring myself to tell her, you know? Look, Tom, she's young, and she probably wouldn't understand anyway. So honestly, I, I do think you're doing the right thing. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Well, I mean, I mean, hell, I can barely understand what's going on right now. Oh, by the way, uh, Steve's going to be coming over today. Really? What time? I think around 7-ish. Tell you, might be a good chance to mention Bob. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. This, the project has been enough hardship without dealing with his stupid shit. Oh. Especially with the way on your shoulders, you know? I just, well, I just don't need it. I really no, don't. You don't need it, so I'll bring it up. Yeah, I'll bring I will. Up. I will. Okay. Don't worry. Do you need anything done in the house before we arrive? Uh, no, I should be fine. Look, sit down, you have enough to think about, I'll go clean up. You right? sure? Yeah, no, no worries. Okay. Minute, right? Take it easy, yeah? Alright. <sighs> Good evening, gentlemen. Hey Steve, you came here early. I guess I underestimated your punctuality skills. Well, it was always easier with my shadow around. We are talking about Jason, are we? I'm yeah. plaguing his life, never mind his house. <laughs> Well, this smells absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for having me over. No worries. Hope the taste is just as good as the smell. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. So, Jason, how are you getting on? I'm not too bad, sir. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, but you can drop the sir, alright? We're not in work. I'm not going to fire you. <laughs> Steve. Sorry, Steve, sir. Steve. Steve. Alright, order up. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay. This guy right here, he's been leeching off my food. I buy food sometimes. Barely. <laughs> Ignore him. I intend to. Okay. So, um, how did you guys find the um, the group project that we did last week? Oh, uh, it was fine. We were able to handle it. It was pretty okay, actually. And you? It was a bit challenging at some parts. Mm. I think um, some of the... Um, the other people we were working with were a little bit lazy at times, but... Oh, yeah. You know, I, I think, you know, Bob can be a bit intense with, with jobs oh, like this. Oh, Jesus with yeah. Christ. Yeah. He wasn't always that bad, to be honest, but it's only over the past while that he's been a little bit... Mm-hmm. On the more intense. Right? Well, I suppose we should, um... Dig in.
Tom, 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 Dude, you just slipped into a trance there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I was just... You sure? Yeah, I was, I was just thinking, that's all. Say, Tom, do you think we could have that conversation now, if that's all right? Oh, yeah, sure. Just... Mm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, proper, sorry. Um, I'll just quiet as a mouse. Sorry. Sorry, thanks. Thanks for the sandwich. So. So. I'm fine. That's not my prognosis, Tom. Well, then your prognosis is wrong. I highly doubt that. You're telling me that your partner takes 8,000 euro, leaves you high and dry without your child, and you're okay. Look, I just mean that. No, listen, Tom, it would be more worrying to me if you were fine. I'd have expected you to have lost your mind by now. Alright, so maybe I'm not completely okay. But I I'm getting there. By how much? Look. The reason why I was late for work today was because I was at the crash asking for an extension in my payments because right now I'm not able to afford it. But I'll, I'll be fine, you know? I just just need to make a few sacrifices here and there and just hope to God that things go my way for once. And if they don't? If they don't? If they don't, then... I don't know. It's like I said, Tom, you're in over your head. And you know what? There's no, there's no real shame in admitting that. <sighs> admitting that there is a problem isn't going to suddenly make the problem go away, Steve. No, but it'll go a long way to helping the problem get better. And you know what else is going to aid you is if you ask someone for help. Steve, who could I ask? Any medical professional that could give me help costs money that I don't have. And I'm not just gonna crash in someone's house. They have enough shit going on in their lives. They don't need mine. What about your parents, Tom? Steve, I told you, they want nothing to do with me. Why? What happened? Because I got Karina pregnant! Because I got Karina pregnant. When it happened, I was so scared about what the future was going to hold that I didn't know how my parents would react. I told my mom first. It just seemed easier, I don't know. She was just as scared and as concerned as I was, but she comforted me, telling me that she would be there for me. And I believe in what she said. Then came my... And then came the time I had to tell my dad about the whole ordeal, and let's just say that he took it less than tastefully. What did he do? Say, I've been thinking about what you told me this afternoon, you know, hiring a new assistant and all that. All right. What did you have in mind? Actually, I was like, Jason could be a good assistant. <laughs> <laughs> really? Look, jokes aside, he's a good worker. I have a lot of faith in him. And, you know, he'll understand the kind of situation I'm in if I ever need to go into the crash and whatnot. He is loyal, Steve. Like I said, he's a good worker, but most of all, he's a good man. Well, at the end of the day, it is your decision. And if you think that Jason is the right fit for the job, then I'll back your play. How about it? <laughs> he's going to be really glad about this. You know that, right? Counting on it. Anyway, I think it's time I took my leave. Thank you very much for dinner, and I, um, well, it was lovely. Yeah, no worries. And, uh, listen, I'm always going to be here for you, Tom. You know that. Yeah, I know. Okay, so, um, I'm going to get the uh, stock report done for Friday, and if you can get me next week's numbers by Friday next week on my desk, I'll really help if you can. Yeah, that's fine, that's perfect. Perfect. I'll see you in the office. Okay. Have a good day. You too.
nobody there. Hello? Oh, God. Thomas? Is that you? So, Frida, where would you like to start? I suppose at the beginning or at least where I think that would. So, about a year ago, I started noticing these symptoms. I went to the doctor and I, I spoke to him about it. <clears throat> I, I just did, I didn't want to be around Leah. I didn't want to play with her. I didn't force myself to play with her. I did it all for Tom's sake. Sorry, who is Tom? He's no, he's Lee's father. Um, when Lee would scream, I would just, I wished she was, I wished she was never born. So he ran these tests, he ran some tests, and I guess I don't really remember what they were, what they were like. I was on autopilot the whole time. I guess that was my way of coping. back with the tests and I was diagnosed with postnatal depression. And he gave me the statistics of one in every seven mothers has this issue, but I don't know. When I came home, which was around one or a half one, I just I didn't want to feel anything. Which is yeah, though when I was when I first came here, I looked up alcoholics and you know most of them don't remember when they took their first drink oh i was always fond of the drink but i remember i remember the drink that set me down just inspired me down so i came home from that appointment and i knew tom and the uh, the being there so i poured myself a very <laughs> very generous glass of wine and then another and then Another and then I'd gone through three others at once. Leah was still at play school, Tom was still at work, and I stumbled my way to the toilet, spilled my guts up, and then got into bed. That happened night after night, and then I just, I realized I didn't want Leah to have a mother like that, so I left. I just left, and I ended up here. It's quite a big story, Karina. But now that you're here, and you look in the mirror, and you see that that story is your story, and that person is you, what do you see when you look at yourself? What do I see? A waste of space. Well, can you not take comfort in the fact that you came here to get clean? You knew that you needed help, and you knew what you were doing, and that's why you came here. I don't think you understand. I was, I was never coming here. But you said that your brother... I asked my brother to drive me to this particular rehab centre, so he could drive off as I pretend to tell myself. What did you originally plan to do, Karina? I was going to kill myself.
Steve won't die. I heard about Karina and the crash in Lear. Look, uh, I'm here to help Thomas. That's the first. Thomas, please. No. Do you think that after what you did to me three years ago, I would just welcome you back into my life with open arms? Okay, Thomas. Don't go exaggerating things into bigger versions than what they were, okay? Don't you dare. Dare what? Debunk the bullshit that you've been feeding yourself for the past three years? Bullshit? Are you kidding me? Are you like mentally insane or something? Okay, because okay, stop. I didn't come here to argue heads and tails with you. I came here to see if you're okay, Thomas. Well, I'm doing fine, so you can fuck back out of my life. How is she? Who? My granddaughter. You don't have a granddaughter. Thomas, please. No, you don't have a granddaughter. I have a daughter, but she has nothing to do with you. Okay, how is your daughter then? She's fine. She's loved, she's cared for, she doesn't currently understand the situation I'm in, but I guess I don't either, so that balances it out. Have you spoken to Karina since she left? Why do you care? Because you're my son, Thomas. You're my son. What's with the intimacy all of a sudden? Is this some kind of part to a bigger plan that you have? Look, I just want to help you, Thomas. Help me how? By tearing off my life again. Sorry, Karina's already beaten you to that. Look, you're not making this easy for me, Thomas. Of course I'm not. I'm not going to make anything easier for you ever again. So just leave me alone. <laughs> Thomas, wait. What do you want? I just want to see her. No, you can't. Thomas, please. No, she's not even with me right now, so you're shit out of luck. Just piss off. But later then, I'll call her into your place. I just want to talk to my son, Thomas. You have one hour, not a nanosecond. OK, give me your address. No, I'll text it to you once I'm ready. Feel free to change your mind. Jack, isn't he worried? No, Jack's fine. He's in Kildare with his parents. And he knows you have a lot of weight on your shoulders. And he's okay with me helping you. He understands. Right. You know, if you stay around long enough, I'm gonna have to start charging your rent. <laughs> how much? Jason, I'm joking. No, I'm serious, how much? Five cents. I'll shove it and set up a cow for yourself. There we go. Five cents. What it'll be? Tea or coffee? Vodka. Sort yourself out.
Who's that? Yeah, Samuel. All right, I'll just go. Get him. I know. If you don't mind, I'll just go get him myself. Okay, thank you. With all due respect, Mr. Stewart, I think I should go there. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Follow me. Good. She misses you. You can tell her I miss her too. I miss you as well, Thomas. No, you don't. You miss being in control of me. You miss having a punching bag, but you don't miss me. Stop all the shit. I told her about your situation. She's worried about you. Well, I'm handling it. Are you? Son. How can you be expected to maintain a house, a car, a child, payments for the crash, when Karina left with all your money? Hmm? Firstly, it was mine and Karina's ah, money. She didn't rob me, she just left me high and dry. Secondly, how do you know all of this? Someone reached out to me. Who? I'm not sure I should say who. If you even want a chance to see what my daughter looks like, you will tell me who. Stephen Lennox from your office. I'm assuming you told him your story about what happened between us. Because he wasn't too happy about making the call. He didn't have a very high opinion of me, Thomas. But he felt that he had no other choice. Stephen Lennox called you? Jason. Yes, he's worried about you, Thomas. Well, I told him that you were the last person I ever wanted help from. That's why myself and Jason are a bit surprised by that. Look, who's this guy? Why is he here? Jason is my best friend. He's been with me since the day we met, and he's been doing a hell of a lot more for me than you ever had. So watch yourself. Hey, I'm sorry. Sam, sorry. Sorry, it's okay. Let's call you Sam. Sorry. Look, Tom, Tom has been doing a tremendous job. Not just maintaining his life, but protecting his daughter. And Stephen is, he's a close friend of us, so sorry if we're just, sorry if we're a bit confused that he sidesteps Tom like that. You're here to help, right? Of course. Yes, you know this place. Yes. How do you see yourself helping me? Well, your mother and I were talking when we heard about all this, and we both agreed that it'd be in everybody's best interest if Lee comes to stay with us. And then you have the space to sort out the problems that you need to sort out, Thomas. So what do you say? Let us help you. Are you actually being serious? Of course. Who the fuck do you think you are? Thomas, I am your father. No, you aren't. Fathers do not hospitalize their sons, beg patients to press charges against their fathers. Do you really think that after everything that you put me through, that I would say yes to any of this? Thomas, this is really for the best. This isn't even close to being for the best. There is not a single chance in hell that I'm going to put the primary care of my daughter to a psychotic monster like you. Thomas. No doubt. So you know what? This has all been a mistake. Just go. Thomas, wait. No. 
Okay, you say you have it all under control, yeah? Yes, I do. Well then, prove it. How am I supposed to do that? And then, your social worker, when she comes to evaluate you, you get her to send it to me. No. What are you, Thomas, please. Absolutely not. I thought you said you had it all under control. I do! Then what are you afraid of, Thomas? Because I don't need to prove anything to you, ever again. You had a chance for me to back off. Take it. Give me your next number. Give it to me. Fine. But know this. Once this all starts, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that this goes my way. And when I win, which I will, I never want to see you ever again. Okay, Tom, here's what's happening. I am going to ring it in, and I'm going to prove that you are an unfit father. Huh? You're 21 years old with no money, barely keeping your head above water, and you think you're capable of raising a child? You're wrong, son. Now, I tried to play nice and give you my help, but that child is my granddaughter, and I'm not going to let you ruin her life. Get away from me. Get away from me. Now. I'm gone. That's good. That is good liquor. <clears throat> it's seven year old, and it's not liquor. Good stuff. So, that was a day, huh? Crazy. Say that again. Are you okay? Holding up. Let's have a toast. And what will we be toasting to? Uh, let's have a toast to the fatherland. <clears throat> Jason, you know that's Nazi Germany, right? Oh shit. <laughs> no, no. Well, we're gonna change the negative meaning of the word. How about instead? Fatherland can mean the vast, the vast ocean of. The vast ocean of opportunity that you have yet to discover. Jason, you're drunk. I'm not drunk, I'm serious. Look, I've lost all my opportunities. No, no, that's just because you haven't walked the journey yet. You haven't realized the amount of opportunity that is actually there for you. You, no. you have so much in front of you. All right, that's enough out of you. No, I'm, I'm not drunk. Come on. Water, seriously? Drink up. My house, my rules. Oh. So, on Monday morning, Nicola's gonna come over at half seven, right before I go to work. And how you fix for it? I'm not fixed at all. It'd be a miracle if I could be able to pay it off. But, I guess we'll just give it a few days. Yeah. What about the crash? Oh, that's all up in the air right now. Right now, all I have is this drink. And whatever problem happens, it's going to be tomorrow's problem to solve. Tom, you do know that it's going to get shakes up pretty fast, yeah? Yeah, I know. And are you prepared for that? No. Well, to be fair, I don't think any of the events happening right now could have been something that anyone could prepare for. The only thing I can do right now is just work on something that's within my power to do. Right now it's, right now it's that little girl. She's everything to me right now. Everything else.
cross from second place means a hell of a lot less to me. And that's it. That's exactly what I've been talking about. What do you mean? The father in you, Tom. And you're a damn good one, too. Everything that I've ever done, I did for her. I'm gonna get her back. Because heaven knows what happens if I don't. Bloody hell, that is something I drink to. <laughs> Even if it's water. Well, I guess there could be worse things to toast to. To the fatherland! Come on! Fine. To the fatherland. To the fatherland! I just saw a lover boy run behind the building and after it would play date. Maybe that's where you've been at. Maybe that's where you've been for the last hour. Get your fucking hands off me. Now! Hey, easy. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, I keep on forgetting about that special commitment you have to that puff there upstairs. Do you want to repeat that? Whoa. I was talking about your commitment to that faggot in the office. You know, you keep him awful close to it. If I were you, I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't want the ass band to corrupt in your daughter now, would you? I'm sorry. That was that was a bit too far. You know, especially you and your daughter and um you know, her mother. The pet whore who took slot leave. <laughs> Come on then! Steve, just don't. If you if you heard what he said... I didn't, Tom. Listen, you didn't hear... A... No, Thomas, I didn't. All I saw was you lamping him. Oh, Steve, if you just heard what he said... It's irrelevant, Tom. You can't just go around solving your problems by punching people. Okay, okay. Look, I'm sorry I hit Bob, all right? But please, just listen to me. He called Jason a faggot. And he called Karina... He called Karina. What and a whore. Listen, I've dealt with too much bullshit recently. This, this is something that I can't deal with, all right? I just can't. Okay. Thomas, that is serious and it will be looked into. Okay, it will not be tolerated in this establishment. But what you have done in the eyes of management higher than me is far worse. You could have killed him. Oh, piss off. No, Thomas, I'm serious. This kind of thing happens all the time. 
Okay, if you would have hit him in the right way, or he hit his head in the wrong way, it would have been so easy for him to just not get back up. It can't be overlooked, Todd. What do you mean? God, you really fucked this up, haven't you, Todd? Steve, what are you saying? What are you telling me? The late arrivals, and early leaving, it can be overlooked. I can brush it under the rug as long as targets are reached. Well, why can't you do it for this? Steve, come on, it's me! That's the problem, Tom. Bob is an arsehole. Nobody is denying that. Okay? But everybody out there is going to vouch for him because they didn't hear what he may or may not have said. They only saw you punching him. There's nothing I can do. My hands are tied. So what? And I have to take the proper action. Because if I don't, I could lose my job. And I would be happy to accept that kind of consequence if some shit circumstance that was out of your control sprung up without warning. But it didn't. You brought this on yourself, Tom. My hands are tied. So what? I get suspended. My pay start getting docked. What happens next? For acts of violence in the workplace and for physical abuse against a fellow employee. Thomas Stewart, your services at this establishment are no longer required. No. No. Oh, no, 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 Steve, please. Thomas, just don't. Steve, you can't do Thomas, this to me. enough. Come on, Steve, you can't do Thomas, this to me. Thomas, that's enough. There is nothing I can do here. You're fired. Leave your keys and your company assets in my office and have your desk packed out by the end of the day. Steve, come on, I can't make do Thomas, without- Thomas, just stop. Pack your shit and leave. There is nothing I can do here. So please, don't make this any harder than it already is. For both our sakes. There is nothing I can do. no response and I know you mentioned about Karina but I decided to give you some time and look I know you need the rent if I'm being completely honest I just forgot but if you give me say just one week I'll have the money for you by then I promise I'm sorry I truly am but I have expenses too and I need that rent Nicola please I just lost a crash today my car broke down I lost my job and my daughter is in social care don't take her home away from her please I'm begging you I can give you 24 hours. No, I need at least a week. 24 hours? 72. Tom. 24? That's the best I can do. I won't be able to give you the money by then. If you don't have the money within the next 24 hours, I'm going to need you out of the house. I'm sorry, I have no other choice. Nicola, please. One day, Tom. It's the best I can do.
was here first, I swear. Hi. Listen, I'm gonna stop you right there. Look, I don't know what my father's paying you, but get out. Um, actually, I have to come in. Court order? Yes, I'm afraid so. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm just gonna slide on in. Uh, let me in, Mr. Stewart. I have to evaluate you. Fine. It's just... his only Tuesday. That's mine, Mr. that's mine, that's mine, sorry, yeah. You drink on Tuesday. You wouldn't even begin to believe the day I've had. I don't. Delightful. <sighs> Annette, Annette, why exactly are you here? Well, I'm going to observe your um, habits and deem if you are suitable to be in charge of a child. So, um, tea anybody? Yes, yes, please. Uh, please no, yes. thank you. Um, after three o'clock, tea has a tendency to... How do I say this? I... Give you the shits? Excuse me? Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Should I say, give you the absolute shits? No, absolutely not! Does this imbecile have any money? Oh, uh, sorry, he just has, he has the shits, and he's projecting his bowel disinfections upon you. Well, well, please refrain, sir! Of course, madam. <sighs> now, now, if you wouldn't mind, please, I need to use your loo. Oh, um, down the hallway to your left. Thank you. Is that the shit? The shit? Really? Happily made, of course. I guess I'll give credit where credit is due. Are you okay after? Honestly? No. Not at all. It's going to be okay. Don't. I don't think it will. Nicola came today. She informed me of what's going to be happening next. Has she evicted you? Have you evicted? something we can do before you go? How? I can't promise anything yet, but you're just going to have to leave it with me. Jordan, I don't know if... I know, but have I ever let you down before? No, I suppose not. Yeah, okay. So, so you're coming down tonight? Brilliant. And what time? Okay, it's perfect. Tom's just here now. He's back from his interview, so... I'm gonna ask him how he got on. I'll we'll see him. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. So, how did it go? Well, they wanted me to be honest, and let's just say I decided to do that and told them everything. Tom, I told you they don't want honesty. They don't want the truth. You okay? Sure? Yes. I guess it worked. It. It worked. You. You got the job. Well, I haven't gotten the job yet, but I impressed the interviewer. 
he's gonna want to see me again. Oh my god, Tom, yes! <laughs> yes! Finally! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so what now? Well, we gotta head back to my place and get packing. Yeah, sure. Not as exciting as your interview, but it has to be done. Hey, you gotta take life one step at a time. And do you know what you're doing tonight? Well, I, uh, I'm gonna have to book a hotel or something. I don't want you to stay another night in a hotel, Bosley. Jack's coming down tonight and we're putting on a movie and maybe getting a bite to eat. Come stay with us. It'll be brilliant. Yeah? Please. Thank you. Day? Something like that. What do you want? I knew your father was coming to see you, so I just had to see you, Tom. I'm not coming home, and I'm not letting him take Leia. I'm going to tear limbs to make sure he doesn't get his hands on her. Thomas, he is your father, and he's his Leia's grandfather. You can't just ignore that. I can, and believe me, I will. I am going to fight with everything I have. Tom, I'm going to be there too, and this is it's really the best way. Please, let us help you. Leah should be with family. He is not her family. And what about me, Tom? Tom, I'm begging you. Please let us help you. No, Mom. I am not going to let Leah be in the hands of that freak. Not after what he did to me. Tom, it was a long time ago. He's changed. Changed? What's that on your face? Or do you think I just haven't noticed that? It's, it's nothing, Tom. It's, it, it's just... A scratch? Well, it was just a scratch for me. Until it wasn't. Now, what's going on in here? Nothing, honey. Go out in the car, Marion. Please, honey. Honey, please. The car, Marion. Now. Now. What do you want, Dad? Because you can see I'm a little busy at the moment. So I can see. Change of scenery. What do you want, Dad? I'm a little busy if you couldn't already tell me. I thought you might want to hear about a night's evaluation. Let me guess. 
I failed. With flying colors. Something like that. No. Actually, she said if circumstances were different, she would have passed you. She told me what I already know, Thomas. You're an excellent father. But your circumstances make you unfit to care for Leah. Don't you start dictating on whether or not I can take care of my own daughter. It was dictated by a professional, Thomas. Yeah, a professional you've got wrapped around your little finger. Look, they go by a code. She wouldn't violate that for anything. Do you really think that I would pay someone to go into your house and slander your name, my name? You beat the shit out of me a few years ago, so no, I That's wouldn't be surprised. Just let that go already. I can't! Look, son, the point is, Lee is better off with myself and your mother than she is with you. Oh, oh, oh that is bullshit. Look, Thomas, I didn't come here to argue the merits of my parenting or yours. I came here because I felt I owed you that courtesy and that I, I'm legally obliged. What do you mean, legally obliged? Son. You can't see, see the truth that is right in front of your eyes. The point is, you've left us no choice. That's a court order. We're taking legal action against you for full custody of Leah. I'm not going to let you take her away from me. You have no say in it, Thomas. Like hell I don't. She is my daughter. And I'm going to give her her best life, right here, with me. She can't have her best life with you, Thomas. We're done here. Thomas. Done! You know, when we were kids, I idolized you. Really? I, I thought you hated me. Oh, I did. But only when you got like more TV time than me or I had to go to bed earlier. Do you remember that time when I hit Dad's car with the slitter? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I thought he would be so mad and I was so upset. And then I told you, you made me feel a ton better about that. Then I took the blame for you. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Grounded for a whole month. A month? Little did he know then you were gonna go out and get knocked up. <laughs> Do you remember that time when when you came to me uh, after Mum died? And uh, you told me you wanted to die too. Just just so you could see her again. I cried with you for hours. Do you remember what I said to you? Yes. You told me that every action has an equal and an opposite reaction. And then you asked me what I meant by that. And you told me that when we hit rock bottom, we have to rise again and find happiness someplace. Nothing stays the same forever. You're not going to feel this sad forever. I'm gonna have to call Tom, aren't I? Yeah. I think you do. Wow. Well, I was wearing these clothes last night, so I'm just gonna get changed. Okay. I'm coming! Hi. That's the best you could have done. Four and a half months later, eight grand down, one daughter less, and you think the best thing to say to me after all of that is hi? I guess I... I don't know what to say. What about an apology? How about you actually say sorry for, oh, I don't know, leaving me and our daughter, not even explaining why you left? I... I am sorry, Tom. I... I never meant to hurt you. Then why the fuck did you do it?! Are you kidding me? 
Do you honestly think that I would ever hurt you? What is wrong with you? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to do that shit. I am the only one that is allowed to cry right now, and I do not have time for it. So take those tears and shove them up your ass. Where's Leah? They took her away from me. There's going to be a hearing later this week. And they're going to decide whether I or my father is going to take custody. Now, explain yourself. About a, about a year ago, I was diagnosed with postnatal depression, and it just it just got worse. It, I, I wasn't myself and it, it wasn't me. So I, I turned to alcohol just to, just to feel something. But then, then I was just hooked. And I, I didn't know what to do. So I ran my brother and he... I just needed help. I thought he could help me. I, so he brought me to rehab. And that, that's, that's where I've been. And Tom, I thought you of all people would know, would understand. I know, I know it probably means nothing, but I am so, so sorry. I can't do this. You know. If this was maybe a week or two ago, I would have given anything just to hear your voice again. Tom, please. No. Please stop. Get out of my house. Tom, please. Please. Just stop. I don't ever want to see you. Ever. Again. To the fatherland? To the fatherland. Okay. Are you ready? Not yet. There's still a few things I need to take care of. You go on ahead. On your way. Could you go to an exit? Yeah. Check out the for me. No worries at all. Perfect. I'll see you back at the house, yeah?
Come in. Tom. Hey, Nicola. Um, we got everything packed up. If there's anything else, then you can just... Um... I'll, I'll contact you. No, no, no. If you find anything else, then... Just keep it. I am really sorry. No, don't be. It's none of this is your fault. It's just a lot of stuff has been happening recently. Well, I know it's not ideal, but if you do need anything, no, I don't think you can help me. At least not right now. Okay. Well, everything is going to be okay. You're going to get through this, and I really wish I didn't have just, to. Just, just don't, Nicola. None of this is your fault. You don't need to beat yourself up over it. Okay. Where are you staying tonight? Um, I'm going to be staying over at Jason's tonight. Which reminds me, actually, I should probably get to calling a taxi. Oh, oh God, no. I can drop you over. No, oh, Nicola, no. You don't need to. You're not asking. Come on, let's go. It's okay. It's inheritance fund from Nana. She gave it to me before you were born. It's okay. What do you expect me to do with this? I want you to give that to Tom. I never really got to know him, but he seems like a good person. I can't let his father get custody of my niece. Jordan, this is too much. It's... It's my decision is what it is. Take the money, Karina. Jordan, I can't. I... Karina, take the money. Are you sure? Certainly. Are you definitely sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's going to be okay. Solicitor to turn me down. I'm not going to be able to get one. But maybe self representation is the way to go. For one, you don't have a chance. And, and for two, who knows? Maybe it'll work. Jason, it is hopeless. We're done. We cannot win this case. Just forget it. Okay. You know what? Maybe you won't win. Yeah? But are you still going to let her go without a fight? Are you? No, of course not. Look, even if I was to represent myself, do you honestly think I stand a chance in winning this? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I do. You have me, you have Steve, and honestly, I think you should come so correct.
Okay. What time? Maybe a bit less strange. She wants to make it to me. I predict the future. Well, I'm gonna have to hear her out and carry one. Well, if I was to predict the future again, I'd say, yeah, probably. I have to. Now? Yeah, I'll be back in an hour. Kaya wants to stop. Alright. Hey, Tom. Be careful. Thanks for coming. Yeah, well, I need you for something as well. Anything, anything. I need you for the costume meeting tomorrow. Of course, I'll, I'll do anything to try and fix this. You can't fix it, but you can help me in fixing it. What did you want me for? I wanted to try to help, to start to fix this. That's 15 grand. Nicola said she'd take six for the apartment and the, the rest you can put towards Leah, crashes, anything. I, I know it's not much, but it's a start. 15 grand. Where did you get this? Inheritance from my grandmother who, who died. It's an inheritance fund. You're only telling me you had this four months after you left me. It's not mine. Then whose is it? Jordan. When, when he found out that Samuel was trying to take custody of Leah, he, he gave it to me. Plus, he likes you. Jordan likes me? Huh. I was always kind of scared of him. Really? Do you not remember what happened last Christmas? Oh, I completely forgot. Said he'd tie me up to a radiator if I did anything <laughs> to hurt you. He gets like that sometimes. It's big brothery. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. I remember now. I was meant to be.
choice. As long as we can, we can still appreciate the days we love each other. my job. Wait, so you've got the job? N no, not yet, but my chances just got up tenfold. Oh, Tom, that's fantastic. I also rung Nicola after I met Karina. She's going to be selling me the apartment again. Oh, no way. Yeah. Tom, I'm so happy for you. That's brilliant. Oh, I can't believe this is all coming together. Oh my god, I know it. Oh, it's amazing. Well, it's going to be a long day tomorrow. Yeah. So. Gotta get some rest. Yeah, sure, no worries, buddy. Yeah, I'll be up there, okay? Alright, take it easy. See ya. He seems pretty perky for a man who's about to go into a custody battle. <laughs> yeah, but he's just got an interview. And they finally sold him a damn house, too. Honestly, Jack? I think it's going to work out for him. That's great news. Yeah. How are you, Miss <laughs> I'm good. No. Sorry, I've just been so worked up about Tom and his situation. You know, whether it's going to work out, whether it's not going to work out, and how easy it can turn into this whole shit fest. Can. You know? Can. But you know one thing? For once, I genuinely think tomorrow's gonna go well. well. That's great news if it does. But it's okay if it doesn't too, because it might not. You know, the journey is getting through those doors. Everything else that happens after is a different journey. So what matters is that he makes it through this one. You're absolutely right. I'm gonna go get that time, okay? Sure. By the way, um, yeah. Think of all this as good practice. For? Just good practice. For what? For when you and I decide that we'll. Are you serious? <laughs> I think I'd like to talk about it, yeah? Yes, 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 absolutely. Let's please talk about it. I'd love to. Me too. <laughs> it's not going to be easy though, you know that, yeah. It's going to be so hard. But you know what? I've wanted this with you for so long. So have I. But that's one of those other journeys. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go tell Tom, okay? Well, We'll talk about it tomorrow after the hearing, yeah? Okay, okay. Okay. Got to do what you have to do. <laughs>
Does it fit? Yeah, I think it does. Good. Thanks. I want to make sure it's fine. Look like a bag man. You might wanna, you might wanna fix your time. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> so, are you alright? Yeah. Damned if I let anyone take her away from me without one hell of a showdown. Let's get out of here. Thank you. 